accent. What's going on guys? Garrett here from Maverick Abrasives. In this video, we are going to fully explain buffing wheels and buffing compounds based on the metal that you are polishing. So we get a lot of questions. Okay, I polish aluminum or I polish stainless or I polish steel. What do I use? You got so many bars, you got so many uh, compound, you got so many compound bars and you got so many wheels. I don't know what goes with what. So in this video, we are going to answer that. Um, now we're going to put aluminum into one bucket and stainless steel and steel into the other bucket because those are basically the same as far as metal polishing. Okay. We're going to break it into, uh, break it up into three steps. Okay. One of the steps with the final step being the optional step based off of you. But, uh, I think most of the time you should at least do a two step process. Um, but before you go into your polishing, something to think about is sanding, okay? One thing metal polishing is not going to do is it's not going to remove scratches or pitting or any kind of damages or imperfections to the metal, obviously. This is to polish. So this is to take it from generally a 400 or 600 grit sand uh, with like a sanding disc or sanding belt, uh, you know, whatever your process is or whatever you're sanding uh, really depends on that. Um, but when you go into your metal polishing, why, whether you're doing the aluminum process or the stainless process, uh, you would only need to sand up to 400 or 600 grit, then you go into this. So we'll first start with the aluminum side. Uh, when you're uh, polishing aluminum, uh, our system uh, is what you see here, which is the brown bar and the orange wheel as the first step. Second step, the green rouge with the yellow, uh, uh, yellow buffing wheel. Uh, then the third step, which would be optional, uh, we got a couple different options for you as far as uh, the softness of the wheel goes, but we have our purple bar, which is our most premium bar. Some people are used to either the blue or the white. If that's what you're used to, that's great as well. We recommend the purple. This is our uh, best, uh, newest innovation as far as the compound bar, so that's what we recommend. Um, and then we have a, a Dome flannel wheel here, and then uh, what they call a UBM wheel. It's called an unbiased muslin, but this is a cream color, whereas a Dome flannel is going to be a very bright white color. Um, so uh, again, the, the process is going to start with your first step, which is your orange wheel and the brown bar. So this is a, a pretty stiff wheel um, compared to the yellow, obviously. Um, so this one in combination with the triple E compound bar is going to be your first step. This is going to take out 400 and 600 grit scratch marks. Okay. So that's going to be your first step. Now, the second step is going to be the yellow buffing wheel with the green rouge compound bar. Um, the green rouge has a green chromium oxide. That's what makes this green. This is going to give you a dark, rich luster. Uh, it's very shiny. Usually people stop here. Uh, totally up to you if that's what you want to do. I always say nine out of 10 people can't tell the difference between this step and the next step. But if it's a labor of love or you're trying to go for your absolute best finish, then go on to that next step. Okay. When the next step, uh, we're going to recommend our purple bar and either look, you can't go wrong here. It's, it's really tough here in a generic video to make a recommendation as far as a, which one to go with. Um, but I would typically recommend if you're doing harder steel or a harder uh, metal like steel or stainless steel, you should probably do the UBM wheel, uh, with the purple bar. But if you're doing aluminum, uh, generally we're going to recommend our softer, uh, flannel wheel, which this is like the same material that a, a flannel shirt would be made out of. Um, you could go with that, uh, that with the purple bar. So that's going to be your aluminum polishing process right there. Uh, now we're going to talk about the stainless. If you're polishing stainless or if you're polishing steel, uh, what we recommend, uh, we got kind of uh, two different bars. I know they look very similar. This is going to be uh, our SS77 stainless uh, polishing compound bar. This is a heavy cut bar compared to this one, which is more of like a cut in color. Uh, typically, if you're polishing like a very thin piece of uh, stainless or like a very thin piece of steel, although I don't know if there's really many thin pieces of steel, but uh, you're gonna wanna go with this one. It's a little bit less aggressive. It's called our Black Magic, okay? That's what you're gonna wanna go with if you're polishing a very thin piece of stainless steel. Um, but if you're doing, uh, you know, if you need something more aggressive, uh, we, we definitely recommend starting with our SS77 Black Bar paired with our red airway wheel, okay? I just want to compare and contrast really quick because it's where a lot of people get hung up. Okay, do I want to get the orange wheel or do I want to get the red wheel? The thing with polishing stainless steel and steel is that they're very hard, dense metals. So you need to generate more heat in order to generate a polish and really move that metal there on the surface. And that's why we recommend this red wheel. It is definitely much stiffer than the orange. 
Uh, it's not like it's like hard as a rock or anything. It's, it's a little bit pliable, but definitely much harder than the red. So this is what you're gonna wanna use as your first step with the uh, SS77 black compound bar. Uh, the second step uh, is somewhat similar to the aluminum, but uh, we're gonna take the pink airway wheel with the green rouge, or you can use our yellow rouge, uh, very similar. Uh, with the yellow rouge uh, or the green rouge, you're gonna pair with the pink. Uh, the pink is also slightly stiffer than the yellow, so that's also gonna do a little bit better job of moving the metal for you. So that's that step. Uh, going into your third step, if you want, Again, we're gonna recommend our purple bar in combination with the UBM uh, soft wheel, okay? So those are your options there. And that'll give you your absolute mirror shine. Um, again, if you're used to the blue or the white, that's fine as well. Although this purple bar is gonna finish better than that because it does have uh, finer grains that break down inside of that bar. Um, the last thing I will mention is our pink compound bar. So this is for polishing like composites, um, or woods, those types of um, uh, different type, non-metal type of uh, materials. You're gonna use this pink bar in combination generally with a soft, uh, soft finishing wheel, either the UBM or the uh, Dome flannel wheel. So that's kind of in a nutshell our uh, polishing products. Uh, if you do have any questions, please uh, reach out. Uh, my email is sales at maverickabrasives.com. Uh, my name is Garrett. Uh, if you do want to buy any of these items in bulk, uh, please reach out and I'm happy to quote those for you. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned to the next one.